How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Rads. Um, I don't really know where to start after that because I, I wasn't expecting to have any kind of positivity, to be honest. I was genuinely really expecting to be saying, I think that's it for Steve Cooper, and another toothless performance, another thrashing away from home, another employment, whatever. And yes, it, it still wasn't unbelievable, it still isn't what we want to see, but that is a lot, lot better under the circumstances that I could have ever expected. Now, if you want to be negative and, and say well, it was boring or whatever, it wasn't the most exciting game in the world, but I'm still happy with that based on what I expected to happen and more importantly we stop the rut you know we stop the rot and that is vital and the frustrating thing is if we could absolutely have won this game today based off the chances we did have and straight away we've got to talk about the team news because I thought that was incredibly telling I think it really said straight away a really strong message from Steve Cooper really if you play like that against Fulham if you down tools if you just don't try don't show that effort or desire you're out the team and he wasn't afraid to make seven changes which is incredible really and the last several games we've seen quite a number of changes and it never always works but I think today it did. Matt Turner coming back into net I think was a smart move he hasn't been amazing this season really but I personally at least slightly prefer him to Vlasidimos I think it's slim pickings between the two of them but I would say Turner's better Bolly and Nierkarte coming back into the defence, a back three as well. Nico getting a deserved chance and played fantastically well, I thought, in this game. And the last few times he's come on the bench, going back a bit actually, several games, I think he's done better this season. And I really hope he can really kick on now and, and show that he deserves this to keep his place in the team. Midfield, Yates coming back in as a captain, I thought that was okay, fair enough, give him another chance. Check Cuarte though, I was, like most people, pretty... Not outraged, but shocked and quite frustrated about it, thinking, why are we playing Shrek so He's not shown anywhere near the level required this season. But some people might say differently. He wasn't great, OK? He isn't the future of our midfield at all. But I think he actually put in a fairly good performance. He fought at the very least. That's the bare minimum we expect. He gave it a go. He had a shot. It wasn't a very good shot at all. He should have really scored that. So fair play to QR, so he actually you know, took his chance. But I just thought it was quite telling that you see um, a, a quite a drastic change in the side back to pretty much what we're used to as fans, as players, as the coaching team would be used to. And we get a performance like that. And we shouldn't even be really praising fight because it's the bare minimum. But I think it said an awful lot. And then uh, were those new signings? The issue, were they just not fighting for Steve Cooper? Was it too much change or pressure or whatever? I don't I don't know, it was really quite bizarre, but as soon as you take out all of those new lads, besides Murillo, Turner and Alanga, who are, well, Murillo and Alanga, probably the better players we've signed in the summer, especially Murillo, we get a performance like that, and I'm actually really, really pleased to see that. The goal, of course, assist from Nico Williams, excellent cross into the box, and no one deserves a goal more than Harry Toffolo, not at all, he deserves that goal big time, great header, and I was really caught off guard, we started the game fairly well, like we did against Fulham, I wasn't really thinking too much, even after we scored, I was thinking, we're not going to hold on to this, are we, we're going to throw this away. Other than the chance we had right at the end of the first half, it was total Wolves domination after we scored. It's a pretty weak goal to give away again, really. No one was really tracking the run of Mateus Kunda. Um, so, yeah, that was frustrating. We should have really done better with the goal. But I actually said after we did, after we considered that goal, OK, regroup, don't implode. And we didn't. It's a fair play. I shouldn't really be bigging that up because it should be a bare minimum you shouldn't be imploding really when you can see the goal but we've done it a lot so it's, it has to be seen as progress and there was just fight and you know after that last game and the Everton game that's the bare minimum that we expect anyway but I'm really relieved to see a Forest performance after those two horrible games in the last week where I can actually be proud of the lads again I can actually look at the players and say well done you put in a good shift and I'm not saying we should not play any of the lads that were took out the team. Another thing as well, I think we saw, it was clearly going back to what Cooper knew, the substitutes, it was Danilo, Wood and Felipe. They were all at the club last season. So 
Is that coincidence? I, probably yes, but I do think it's interesting that Cooper just completely thought, right, I'm, I've had enough of these new guys that just aren't giving me anything at all. I'm going to go back to what I know. And it was nice. It was nice to look at a team with an identity again. So, yeah, Spurs next. Will Steve Cooper be in charge? In my opinion, he absolutely should be. Yes, it's only one game. Yes, it's only a point. Yes, we should have won. We had the chances. Alanga hit the post. Yates had a chance. So, yeah, we should have won, really, with the chances we had. I think we were... It was probably an even game, but at times we were the better side. So it still is far from where we want to be, you know, if we lose to Spurs, which is a good chance we will because it is Tottenham. You know, ultimately that's what, five defeats in six games. It still is a terrible showing. And then a point at Wolves suddenly doesn't look anywhere near as good. I would have been happy with that regardless, to be honest, is our form, getting a point at Molyneux. Because it's a really tough place to go. They've beaten City. Um, Spurs at Molyneux this season the draw with Villa it's not an easy place to go and we got a point there so I'm happy with that regardless of our form will the home atmosphere and the whole team performance be raised because we're playing a big team like we did against Villa who I think we can classify them as a big team right now and I think you know, if you look at it every single time a big six side has come to the city ground since, since they've been back in the Premier League besides Man United when they thoroughly outplayed us really in the cup game and the league game last season. We've given all the big six sides a really good go at home. We were unlucky against Spurs last year. We drew a Chelsea, we drew a City, which is unbelievable still. Obviously we beat Arsenal and we beat Liverpool. So we've done really well against the big guns at the City ground and I'm really hoping that that will be a huge motivation. The fact that ultimately Cooper is still very much going to be under pressure if we lose that game it's suddenly like, oh, he's, he's clinging on again. I think he is still pretty um, perilously holding on to his job right now. But I do feel that it would be incredibly harsh to sack him after that performance. Because ultimately, it's only the last two games where we have been thoroughly dreadful before this Wolves game. Even the ones before it, there was at least something we could cling on to for positivity. But the last two before it were shocking. And it was the writing was on the wall. But thankfully today, albeit it's a small step. It, it, it is more positive, you know, we can't entirely be um, negative about it and Cooper should certainly be given at least another game regardless of the fact it's against Spurs and even if we lose, if we see a good performance, personally I'm happy with that but if we then, you know, go and lose to Bournemouth then there's major question marks again really. If you have enjoyed this review, please hit the like button, subscribe to Rats if you're new, there's going to be plenty of vlogs coming up this month as well as, uh, there'll be one more one more away game. In fact, I think every other game now for the rest of the month and year is at home. We've got, obviously, Spurs, Bournemouth and Man United all at home. And then we've got Newcastle away, which is incredibly difficult. So, yeah, I think this is, there's only one away game after this for the rest of the year, which is pretty bonkers, really. So, yeah, lots of vlogs coming up. Stay tuned to them. Up the Reds.